We're enjoying a sunny, warm day, and we have a lot more of these in the forecast through the weekend. Overnight tonight with those clear skies and the light winds will cool off a bit. Low 52 Sioux Falls, 55 Aberdeen, 58 Pier, 61 of Rapid City. And tomorrow another sunny day. We'll have a south wind, 82 in Sioux Falls. Winds a bit stronger in Aberdeen, but with sunshine warming to 86. Pier windy 94. We're obviously a breezy 95 degrees. Lots of above normal temperatures coming our way, including the upcoming weekend. We'll have details on that in just a few minutes. Kelloland News starts now. Live from Kelloland Media Group. Kelloland News, first at four. Coming up, how a Northwest Iowa principal is raising money for a flood damaged school. Plus, one person is dead after a bus was hijacked in Los Angeles this morning. Details coming up. And we'll hear from the Ukrainian president as he addresses the UN General Assembly. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to First at Four. I'm Don Jorgensen. And I'm Kelly Volk. Authorities in Minnehaha County are asking for your help in finding a wanted man. 31-year-old Austin Ray Christofferson is wanted for first-degree rape and sexual contact with a child under the age of 16. Court documents say that the charges happened from December of 2019 through June of 2021. If you have any information, you are asked to call the Minnehaha County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. A uh, Pennington County jury has found a man guilty of assaulting a law enforcement officer. Uh, according to the Pennington County State's Attorney's Office, 31-year-old Richard Ingalls was found guilty after he strangled a Rapid City police officer in January of this year. Sentencing for Ingalls is scheduled for November 4th, where he faces a maximum of 25 years in prison. A 39-year-old man has been identified in a deadly crash in Sioux Falls. A semi was heading south on I-29 when it slowed down to take the 26th Street exit. A motorcycle was going the same way and ran into the back of the semi. The driver of the motorcycle, Zachary Robert Dysert, died from his injuries. The driver and passenger in the semi were not hurt. All right, let's turn our attention to our weather. It doesn't feel like fall today. No, it's feeling a little more like summer out there, Jay. Yeah, I, I would say it's feeling a lot like summer, Kelly. We have blazed sunshine across the Kelly area. Actually, much of the upper Midwest now having blue sky. And it is plenty warm out there. Sioux Falls right now, we sit at 83 degrees. Our normal high temperature this time of year is 72, so we're more than 10 degrees above average. There's hardly any wind out there. There are lots and lots of folks out enjoying the day. We have more of those kind of temperatures in the way for our forecast the rest of the week and the weekend as well. Aberdeen right now, 84 degrees, south breeze at 8. For here, and we have blue sky there, 83 degrees. There is no wind to speak of. In Pier, blue sky, 86 with a south breeze and a rapid city sunshine. South wind blowing a little bit stronger up on uh, Dinosaur Hill, 91 in Rapid City. And here's the rest of the temperatures around the region. Everybody, again, is above average. We have a bit of a breeze in western South Dakota, and tomorrow the winds will pick up, particularly western and northern South Dakota, but it's going to be another sunny, warm day. Overnight tonight with those clear skies, lows in the low to mid-50s here in eastern Kellett, upper 50s to low 60s out to the west. And then tomorrow, Sioux Falls, sunny sky. There'll be a south wind, 10 to 20 miles an hour, and 82 for a high. Aberdeen, 86. Pier, 94. Rapid City, 95 degrees and temperatures again not going to change a whole lot as we head toward the weekend. The weekend forecast is just ahead. Thanks, Jay. Well, after historic flooding in northwest Iowa this summer, many organizations came together to help those impacted. Alyssa Tatch with our sister station in Sioux City shares how one principal is using his school's annual fundraiser to raise money and awareness for his flood damaged neighbors. For the next few days, whole Christian school students won't find their principal walking the school hallways because he'll be kayaking down the Rock River. It's a fun idea where people can come around uh, Rock Valley Christian School. Uh, during this whole summer, uh, people have an opportunity to, to, to support different organizations, different people in many different ways. And this is just one way Hall Christian can support Rock Valley Christian. For three days and two nights, whole Christian school principal Randy Tenpass will be kayaking more than 50 miles down the Rock River after his annual fundraiser challenge brought in $10,000 for Rock Valley Christian School. We had a rally day sale, which is an auction this past Saturday, and usually for that auction I do something unique, a fundraiser. 
Uh, so for this fundraiser, I wanted to do something uh, with the with a kayak and on the river. It was uh, to draw a little bit of attention to what happened this summer. I want to do it in a very respectful way, where uh, the, the floods that happened this summer, and draw some a little bit of attention to that, and just realizing as you go down the river the destruction that the uh, the floods had this summer. In just a few short hours on his journey, Ten Pass had already seen some of the damage the flood left behind. Anytime you go underneath the bridge, it's just amazing how high that water got. Underneath the bridges, there's always debris from different places. Uh, around Rock Rapids as well, there was just a lot of debris in the trees uh, and also just how high those banks are. But just because 10 Pass is out of his office for the next two days doesn't mean his students won't see their principal. We are going to be zooming 10 to 10 tomorrow on, on Wednesday, so just to have a little bit of interaction. Usually these fundraisers I do around school, uh, but this is the first time where I'm off school, uh, off campus, and so I really didn't get a chance to interact with him yet. 10 Pass will end his journey on Thursday in Akron, Iowa, where he will be picked up by his wife. From Rock Rapids, Alyssa Tatch, KCAU 9 News.